It is believed that offering food to those in need or to spiritual seekers bring immense blessings and merits to the donor. The significance of Anadhanam can be traced back to ancient Hindu scriptures where it is mentioned as one of the most virtuous deeds capable of purifying one's soul and best owing spiritual benefits. Radhe Radhe Arya, it was nice meeting you in Kurukshetra. I had a very good darshan. How about you Arya? And I can see a Anadana as main here. Did you notice that? Radhe Radhe Advika, I also had a very good darshan. I also noticed Anadhanam is Pradhanam here. Gajaturag sahasram gokulam koti dhanam Kanaka rajata patram ethini sagarantam Upayakula vishnutam koti kanya pradhanam Nahi nahi bahu dhanam anna dhanam samanam Radhe Radhe Aira, nice meeting you in this Dharmasthala. This place is so greeny and so cool with nature surrounded. Yes, Avantika, the temple is also so beautiful and I can see Anadhanam happening in a very large scale. Did you notice? Yes, Aira, as Sri Krishna says in the Shanti Parvam of the epic Mahabharata, the world both animate and inanimate is sustained by food. The giver of food is the giver of life and indeed everything else. The one who is desirous of well-being in this world and beyond should make special to give food. We should offer food with venerable hospitality to the old, the child and the tired traveller. Also, Sri Varha says in Varha Purana, the one who gives food, gives all that is worth giving in this world. The Taitriya Upanishad says, Do not send anyone away from your door without offering him food and hospitality. Moreover, Anadhanam also serves as a means of fostering social harmony and unity. By providing food to those in need, Hinduism emphasizes the principles of equality and compassion. It helps break down social barriers and encourages a sense of oneness among individuals. Radhe Radhe Ayush, what a surprise it is to meet you over here. Yes, Ayush, I'm equally glad to meet you. Hope you had darshan of little Sri Krishna holding butter Chana in his hand. He looks very beautiful in any alangar. Yes, I too have beautiful darshan and you also came to know that Annadhanam is very special here as Annadhanam, Samamdhanam, Trilokesha, Navidate. Annadhanam is supreme and uncomparable to any charity. Food is the basic requirement to all humans. Thus, according to Veda, one who does Annadhanam to devotees attains heaven in this universe itself. The whole universe, creation and its progression depends on food. Hence, giving food to devotees is more than attaining heaven. Hence, Sri Krishna is the most happiest by giving Annadhanam. Radhe Radhe, Sahasrakshi, have you heard about Sri Annapurneshwari Temple? I have been there during my last vacation. I have heard about this temple and I know that Annapurneshwari is for Annam and devotees book to do Annadana in this temple. Yes, because Annam Baugunam Tebyo Deyam Vodeno Dakshinaha In Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Krishna himself states to the Gokul people that you should feed with nicely prepared food for the puja done for Govardhan. Also, Bhagavan says that uh, appropriate food should be given to all, even grass to the cows. Such is the importance shown by Bhagavan himself toward Annadhanam. Sharing food is an act of love that nourishes both the body and the soul. 
Our Guruji has shared a story on the auspiciousness of the Anadanam in his lecture. So let's get reminded of that. In the heavenly board, Karna was there and asking everyone, Are you hungry? Everyone said no. But Karna was feeling very hungry. He could not bear the hunger at all. He tried his best to overcome the hunger, but alas, was not able to. At that time, Lord Sri Krishna came there and asked Karna why is he feeling sad. Karna replied, my unfortunate time when all others are not feeling hungry, I am alone feeling hungry always and I couldn't bear it nor overcome it and asked the solution for the same. The Lord said, keep your pointer finger on your mouth and Karna was surprised since his hunger had stopped. When he asked the reason to the Lord, the Lord replied, when I was in Buloka as the messenger for the Pandavas and Kauravas, Duryodhana had cancelled a ministry meeting that day. So I had to stay for a day. When I was walking down the street and saw Bhishma Pitamaha's house and asked, Whose house is this? Bhishma Pitamaha replied, This is my house, Krishna. You are welcome to have food. But I walked further and saw Dronacharya's house and asked, Whose house is this? And he replied by saying it was his house. When I was thinking where to have my food and glanced at you, you pointed your finger towards Vidura's house. When I went and asked him, whose house is this? Vidura with full love replied, this is your house, Krishna. Please come and have food. So that day, my hunger was gone because of your pointer finger. Lord continued saying, Karna, all your life you have donated many things to many people. But they will be getting these things happily. And later they would have thought, if I had gone to Karna earlier, I would have gotten more costlier than this. So people are not easily satisfied with what they are donated. But Anadana is not so. Once the stomach gets full, he, can, he will not need more and cannot consume beyond a certain limit. That is why Anadana is more auspicious than any other dana and is most liked by me than any other dhana. Radhe Radhe, Sri Guruji also states in Sri Sridhar Ayawal Charitram that once Sri Sridhar Ayawal has to do Shadam for his father, but he heard some children crying out of hunger. When he came out, he noticed a pregnant woman and two children crying out of hunger. He couldn't resist that. So he fed the needy with the food that was prepared for his father's Shadam. Hence, the brahmanas got angry and obstructed themselves from proceeding with the rituals. But Bhagavan himself came as brahmana and did all the rituals for his father. This charitram shows the importance of Anadhanam and Bhagavan becomes very happy when needy is fed, be it human or any other jivan in the world. That's why our Guru Maharaj states that Anadhanatal Kannan Magirdinran. We find many temples doing Anadhanam as per the importance shown in our Vedas and scriptures. The few temples are Puri Jagannath, Udupi Shri Krishna Temple, Guruvayur Temple, Dharmasthala, Shri Balaji Temple Tirupati, Amritsar Golden Temple Gurudwara, Shri Annapurnishwari Temple, Arunachaleshwar Temple, Shri Rangam Ranganatha Swami Temple and Shri Subramanya Swami Temple Tirchandul. In Hinduism, the act of feeding others, known as Annadana, holds great significance and is, and is considered a sacred and virtuous practice. Derived from the Sanskrit words Anna, meaning food, and Dhanam, meaning donation or giving. Anna embodies the philosophy of selflessness and compassion and the belief in the interconnectedness of all, be of all beings. The concept of Anna is deeply rooted in Hindu culture. It is highly revered for the benefits it bestows on, upon both the giver and the receiver.